<laughs> hey, what's up? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about mental health because my mind matters and I talk about it. I'm gonna try to do something different. I'm challenging myself to post every single week. Like, posting mental health, like, I love it, it's my passion, but in order to do that, I have to be writing down these notes. I have to write down exactly what I'm gonna say and then say it exactly like that. And it puts a lot of pressure on me and it makes me procrastinate and therefore I never get any videos out. So, I'm gonna try to not do that. I'm just gonna try to do some videos that are just totally chill, not scripted or anything, and just see how it goes. I'm gonna try to post something every single week. So not every video is going to be about mental health. It's just gonna be, like I'll still do mental health videos, but they'll just be every now and then, or whenever I have something I wanna talk about. Um, otherwise, every other video is going to be something fun, like a reaction or a challenge or I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to figure it out though, but there's going to be a video every single week from now on. Hopefully. Uh, don't hold me to that. But that's my goal. That uh, is my goal that I'm going to reach this year because I have a ton of goals. <laughs> but anyways, today I wanted to tell you about my stalker story. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous about this. And I'll tell you why. Sky, do you want to join me? We're just waking up. Look at her stretch. Okay. We're just waking up. Okay. So, a little backstory. Uh, I am from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And in our church, we have our missionaries. And they are people who are in their early 20s, mostly. We have elders, too. Uh, or seniors who have senior missionaries and what they do is they get called to leave their homes and go to a completely new place literally anywhere else in the world for two years the men are called elders and the girls are called sisters so we have sister missionaries and the elder missionaries in our area where I live um, I would go out with the sister runners <laughs> I would go out with a sister missionaries every single day, pretty much. Every single day. And what we would do is we would just go out and we would knock on doors and talk to people about God. <laughs> Basically, that, that, is the, that is the basics of a missionary. So you knock on doors and talk about God. So that's what I did for a big majority of my life. And it was honestly like the best years ever. Um, Cause I never got to go on my mission. And I really wanted to go, but that's basically all you need to know is I would go out with the sister missionaries literally every single day. Okay, now, here it goes. Uh, one day, I got a text from an unknown number. It didn't say unknown, it didn't say blocked, it didn't say anything like that. It was just the number. Um, it was just this guy saying... Uh, oh, what did he say? He, I think he just said, hey. He said, hey. And I said, who are you? And he told me, I don't know if I should say his name. But he told me his name, and I'll tell you this. It was something odd. Um, it was something really odd. Like, I never heard a name like that. So he tells me his name. We have this whole conversation. Like, I keep asking him these questions. I never reveal anything about myself. I don't even tell him my name. And that will come into play later. Um, so I never tell him anything about me. But I ask him very personal questions about him to figure out who this guy is and what his intentions are. So he proceeds to tell me that we have a mutual friend who uh, is in the army or something, um, and he was in the medical field, and I asked him what his name was, but he told me that he had changed his name, and he doesn't know what it is. And I'm like, um, okay, 
I don't know anyone like that. I don't know anyone in the army, in the medical field, who has changed their name. But then he also tells me that his friend, he knew him while he was in Texas. And he came up to him one day, and he gave him my picture, and he gave me my number. What? <laughs> and I had, like, maybe two friends. To the extent of my knowledge, I have two friends that have ever lived in Texas. And I know that neither one of them would have done that. Neither one of them would have given some random guy my picture and my number and told me to text me. Okay? But I messaged these guys anyway. I messaged them and I asked them and they said they didn't do it. And so this guy proceeds to talk to me and he's telling me, I'm so beautiful, I'm so awesome, and he wants to be my friend. And he also tells me that he was also talking to the sister missionaries. He was talking to the sister missionaries, he knows them, and he's asked for a Book of Mormon, and that he was going to come to church that week. And so I hit up the sisters about this, and I tell them what's going on. And they're like, oh, you're talking to him? That's so cool. And I'm like, no. No, it's not. This is weird. This is very weird. And I was literally terrified. I was terrified. My parents went on a date that night, so I was left home alone. I was terrified. <laughs> I was legit terrified that he was going to come to my door and do something. <laughs> but he kept begging me. He was literally begging me to be his friend because I'm so beautiful and I'm so awesome. And he wants to get to know me better. Are you done? Look at that face. And so, I text him, finally, after like the whole day, I text him and I tell him, Hey, I don't know you. I think this conversation is really weird. I don't trust you. So I'm not going to talk to you anymore. And he said, okay. So... The next day, he texts me again. He says, good morning. And I'm like, okay, the sky isn't going to go away. And so I asked him a question about me. I wanted to know how much he knew about me. Because I did not tell him my name. I did not tell him anything about me. I didn't even tell him that I didn't know that mutual friend. I just kept asking questions, that's all. And so I asked him, what is my name? Most people in these days called me Jazzy. That's how everyone knew me by, it was Jazzy. This guy said, your name is Jasmine. No one calls me Jasmine. I didn't reply back. I didn't, I left it at that. And so since he had told me that he was going to be at church that week, the next day was Sunday, so I was going to church, and I was literally terrified. I was like, something is going to happen today. But nothing did. Nothing happened. I mean, I don't know if he showed up or not, but I did not see anyone out of the ordinary, and no one came up and approached me, so... I assume that he didn't come. But I went over to the sister missionaries and I showed them my text. Because I was like, this dude is freaking weird. So I showed him my text and they're like, oh, yeah, this isn't good. <laughs> and so then we showed our bishop. All he said to do was to block him. He didn't say go to the, the police or anything. He just said to block block him. This does not comfort me because it means he's still out there. <laughs> and this is why I'm so nervous making this video. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, does anyone have any answers for me though? Like, I know that this wasn't like some big crazy stalker story where it was like, my stalker tried to kidnap me, or my stalker broke into my house, 
or my stalker sent me flowers. None of that. No. It wasn't that bizarre. But it was creepy enough to tell you. <laughs> um, my theory is that it was possible that uh, it might have been some kind of trafficking scheme. Like, maybe someone got my picture and my number because he's a, he's a trafficker. That could totally be a possibility, I think. But, um, what are your thoughts? What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I didn't even do that story justice. If I still had the texts, I totally would add them in here, but that was years ago. This was absolutely years and years ago. Like, six, six years, seven years. That's basically, yeah, that's my stalker story. So something that I would like you to learn from me from this experience is if you ever get someone, some random number texting you, messaging you, or anything of the matter, do not share your personal information. Keep asking personal questions to them. Figure out who they are and what their intentions are and don't let them know a thing about you until you're able to trust them. If you're able to trust them. And if you do not, if you think that they are just absolutely sketch, either block them, report them, or call the police. Okay, that's my story. I hope you guys have the best day ever. And uh, stay real and have a super sparkly day. Bye.